nightclub Thursday night. Miss Ashley, helping me record what was taught. A million thank yous to this girl. Thank you. What was taught was something never taught before. In any place I've taught in all the years I've taught, it's called a sugar tuck whip. We've been working on it, and now we can bring it to Nick's. Big Encompass is obviously a sugar push, a sugar tuck, and then a whip. So we're going to do first the move, and then show you how to do it. So sugar push first. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and and yank. And it is very cool, but it encompasses some aspects of several of the moves. Obviously, a sugar tuck is your first play. So you can do a sugar push. And you normally do this followers and leaders with her right and your left. You bring her in, you do a tuck, and you put her back in a sugar tuck with your left, her right. The difference is you're going to use your right, her left. So you're obviously same count. One, two, three, and four. She starts to back up on four, and she goes to her right for five. And six. Just a basic sugar push, sugar tuck. Her left, your right. So we're going one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Let go of the right hand. You don't need it. But then you're going to encompass the whip part. So the first four counts of this, so it's still the same. So we're going two, three, and four. The first four, we go one, two, three, and four. She starts to go to her right. Five and six, though. On six, you want to pull her towards you. So five and six. Good connection by her. Pushing her forward onto her left foot. That's the key to make this move flop. So sugar push. One, two, three, and four. Just her left, your right. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Now I'm moving slightly off to the track to her right, just so she has room, obviously, because she owns it. So we're going to go sugar. One, two, three, and four. Go away to six. One, two, Three and four, five and six. And I'm pulling her forward, backing up on my right foot to get out of the way. Now we're going to add the whip variable. So we do sugar, one, two, three and four. We're going to stop on six again, one, two, three and four, five and six. And the sixth step creates the energy. So what you're going to do is make her do a half turn to her left on seven and eight. So you're going to pull forward, seven and eight, coming forward on her right foot. Guys, you're going to turn and get in front of her and get back on the track like a regular whip would do. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. I'm going to pull my right hand out, get it underneath her left shoulder, and get back onto the slot, landing on my left foot on eight. That's the tough part of this move. So we're going to do it again. So one, two, three, and four. Bring her forward, then triple set. I'm actually pulling her forward on that last step with my right hand. That's the key. As any whip is. So sugar, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, bring her in, go to the top, bring her forward on six, catch her, bring her forward on the right foot on eight, then we just do a regular whip count for nine, ten, and the chain. That's all it is. Let's do it this way. We go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and we go one, two, three, and four, bring her forward, triple catch her, do the turn, and chain. More time this way, more finish. The sugar tuck. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Thank you. As always, she's amazing. Thank you guys for coming if you did tonight. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep dancing. Bye.